we're really just glad he's alive. Hands down, he should have died. And, and watching him heal, if any kid can pull it off, you know, I think it's him. Grangeville High School quarterback Jared Lindsley discovered his love for football around third grade. Just the constant pace, always moving fast and not having to wait, just constantly going. He started as a tight end, but when he made the switch to quarterback, well, that's when the real fun began. When he started playing quarterback, uh, it felt as if he he had found a place for him that was that felt right for him. I think it really occurred to him that he could be good at it uh, if he put the work in. Aspirations to play football at the college level became the goal. Going into his junior year this year, it was his turn to become the starting quarterback. There was nothing but high expectations because of his skill set. He would have been unstoppable. I mean, he's just, he's got, he's got it all. Lindsley was ready to go. This was his time to do it and it uh, didn't work out. I was just out on my dirt bike. I was going up a hill and the car didn't see me and it pulled out and I hit the side of it. And then that's about all I remember. His traumatic accident this past July cracked his skull, caused brain bleeding, collapsed his lung, and resulted in several broken bones and pinched tendons. It was such a shock to see your kid hurt so bad. You're just putting everything into praying that he's gonna be okay. After he was released from the hospital, Lindsley knew the road to recovery would be a tough one. Not long after his accident, though, through someone his mom knew, former Seattle Seahawks quarterback Matt Hasselback sent him a message of encouragement. Really just buy into the tedious work of rehab each and every day. Um, that's where you make special gains and that's where you can do what some people would say, you know, are things that are impossible. So. Um, I hope you have a great recovery. I hope you're uh, able to do things that people don't expect you to do. And uh, um, I hope you've got a great story to tell someday. That message inspired Lindsley. He spent countless hours rehabbing to get healthy again. The physical therapy has helped a lot in just getting back into it, like my wrist, getting movement back and all that in my shoulder. It wasn't easy, but with perseverance, Lindsley found a way. He's back to throwing a football now and he's weightlifting the way that he was prior to his accident. It looks like he's going to be able to play football his senior season. It's just how much effort you put into it and how bad you want it. All things considered, Lindsley's story of recovery back to normal is nothing short of a miracle. This season, he'll wait. But next season, he plans to make the most of it. Do as much as I can in my senior year to get the chance to play more. I'm really happy that I'll get a chance to play again. Through it all, Lindsley still has one goal in mind, to play college football. Reporting in Grangeville, I'm Karthik Venkatraman, Krem2 Sports.